In Kitchen Table and I only ever try and work with um, anything from one to three ingredients up to a maximum of five. So even though there's a lot of different things on this dish, it's still only three individual ingredients. You have beetroot, licorice, sour cream. Licorice is one of my favourite flavours and playing around I found, I found it went with the uh, beetroot. I don't really overthink food of like why does this go without, why does that go without. For me it's just about what tastes good and, and, and what you're eating rather than a philosophy behind everything. Doing vegetables in a dessert, so beetroot's known as a vegetable, is, a, is not a new thing but it is a, a, different, a different ingredient. The way we've done it is we treat the beetroot as a dessert, so we really thought about what qualities are in a beetroot that could make it a dessert, so the sweet factor, the fresh factor, and even the earthiness, but mixed with um, sugars and, and other rich and dairy cream things, you know, can lift this into a dessert. And uh, we did this, um, a warm cake, I wanted it all soft in the middle with a, a crunchy topping and this is served hot so I have a hot and cold contrast because um, being English I love the uh, in traditional English desserts of like a hot crumble, cold ice cream or the next day vice versa, cold fridge crumble with hot custard. which is purely crunchy and the refreshing sorbet which is, is the main sweetness of like, how sweet beetroots can be and then the cake brings you yeah, the warm spongy thing I just think that like finding the marriage of all of those ingredients that worked was uh, something we were all proud of here. Yeah.